guys, welcome back for another edition of Smart Money Saturday. Now, I don't know where I'm looking, but let's see. Right here. Okay, yeah. Anyway, I just got to North Carolina earlier today. Um, just visiting for the weekend with family. You see my son back there sleeping. We've been on the road pretty much all day. Um, just got my hair done. Kind of blew out. Because I was tired of putting in a ponytail. But anyway, um... I'm excited about 2018. I hope that you are. I am very focused. <laughs> I have some exciting news to announce later, but I'm not going to put that out yet. Um, but I'll let you guys know soon. I'll update you on that. Um, so I decided to um, use my tax refund to fully fund my three month, which is the $12,000. GPS signal lost. Sorry. And um, instead of paying off the third, fourth largest debt, smallest debt, and um, I'm going to cash flow the rest of the debt because I am more focused on the savings account. I want to get that done, you know, $12,000 for this year. I want to get that done first. And then once that's over, I would just really just dedicate all my focus and intensity to paying off the debt. Now, I'm so excited because, not this week, but next week, I will be paying off my second smallest debt, which will be my car loan, um, which started at 17000 and I paid it down to 10000 and then I totally lost the car, it was upside down, and the help, the insurance paid 7000 and I still owe 3500 for gap insurance or whatever, or because I didn't have gap insurance, and I negotiated down to 1790 and I paid off everything itself for 450 which I will pay next week on Jan January 18th and I actually wrecked my car totally off my car January 20th so literally like almost one full year now it's been paid for so and I already have a car that's paid for which is this car so at that after that I will not have any car debt at all and that's so exciting to me like so exciting so whenever I'm ready to pay for cash for my next car like my next my new first, I guess, luxury car, I can do that. And that's exciting to me. Um, and so I'm really making a lot of headway, and I feel this year's going to be awesome. So I hope that you guys are motivated and staying focused and not getting off track. Um, but most people are excited and, like, focused during the new year, but you have to keep that momentum all year long. That's the, that's the most challenging part, I think. So as long as you can keep that momentum, stay focused, um, you should be good. So um, another thing, I know you guys know my grandmother passed away like two months ago. And my grandfather and she were married for 65 years. And um, her birthday, her 84th birthday would have been January 15th, which is my birthday, my son's birthday. And my grandfather's birthday is 31st. And so, um, unfortunately, as of like a couple of days ago, which is another reason why I'm down here, he was admitted to ICU. So I'm actually going to go visit him shortly tonight and uh, just keep us in prayers. Like, obviously, there's a lot going on. It's like a lot of family stuff. And I hate that. But I think, again, like I told you before, this is when you really try because it's so easy to get off focus when so many things are going on around you. You can use those things as excuses. Like, you know what? Well, I'm sad now. Let me go on a shopping spree or let me go out to eat every day now because I'm just so depressed. Like, no. For me, that makes me go harder. Like, it just motivates me even more. Because uh, I think about my, when I get to their age, like, what what I want my life to look like. And I know that the choices I make now are actually going to be the things that shape what my life looks like when I'm their age, God willing. So, um that's what's going on. Um, sorry, this is kind of like a rushed video, but I will update you guys next week and we'll, we'll go more in detail about some stuff. But I will see you again and stay focused. Leave your comments below, questions, and I will see you next Saturday.